G'day guys, ZD here, and today I'm going to give you guys a guide for how to install and use a very useful tool. No doubt you've seen it used in some of my videos or streams. This is the PoE Trade Macro uh, slash item info script. So a uh, while, while back there was this item info script that allows you to check the stats of an item. And uh, since then it has been combined with uh, an in-game price checking tool that allows you to uh, search PoE Trade from the comfort of Rayclast without needing to go out to your browser. This tool is not a catch-all or a save-all for price checking everything, but it is a very handy quick reference guide uh, to allow you to leave game a little less often while you're playing, and it's super useful. I use it all the time. So, first up, what you're going to need is Auto Hotkey. So let's head on over here. Auto Hotkey ahkscript.org is where you're going to be getting it. These links will be down in the description below. Simply just download this and install it, and then you can just close. There'll be like a notepad that pops up. Just close that. I don't really even need to show you that. All you need to have is Auto Hotkey installed on your system. You don't need to have it open and running or anything like that. It's essentially a uh, a, a system by which you uh, can create and run different scripts. You can create your own scripts if you like. Uh, I have some for uh, doing a few little bits and pieces, like posting links and things like that. But uh, most importantly for Path of Exile players, it's gonna allow you to uh, take scripts that other people have created and use them. So once you've installed Auto Hockey Script, you're gonna to wanna to go to this site just here and download the latest version of the PoE Trade Macro. You can find the link to the latest release just here. And from here, what you're gonna do is download the source code zip. Now once that's downloaded, simply open it up. You'll get a folder that looks like this and you can simply Create another folder somewhere on your desktop. Just name it something like auto hotkey scripts. So I've got auto hotkey scripts sitting here on one of my hard drives. And then simply click and drag this over to here. So once you've got the most recent version of the PoE trade macro extracted, go into the folder and then right click run only this. So it's cleverly named. Simply right click it and then click run script. Now you'll get a pop-up box like this depending on the version of Windows you're running. Just simply, simply select yes and it'll take a little bit to initialize, and then once it's booted up, it'll actually just kind of hide down in your system tray, so it's not really something that pops up on your screen or anything, so if you wanna see that it's running, you can simply click this Show Hidden Icons button down here, and uh, you can check out this one just here, Path of Exile Trade Macro. Now before you start using it, you wanna go, you're going to want to right-click this and go to PoE Trade Item Info Settings, so we can open up this now, and this is where we can customize how the script works and the league you're in and things like that. So the first thing you're going to want to do is select your current league. So if you're in, for example, Breach Softcore, you're going to want Temp Standard, as in Temporary League Standard. If you're playing Standard Standard, if you play Breach Hardcore, Temp Hardcore, so on. It's not really necessary to input your account name, but you can do that if you want. What I like to do here is to help with checking quality gems. I like to put uh, gem level range at one. It starts off at zero, which we'll just ignore this option, and gem quality range of two. Now what happens is if you search for a quality gem, then what it's gonna do is gonna search for quality gems plus or minus two from that. So this will search for a range of five to nine, which I find quite handy. Searching for exactly the, that amount of quantity is usually not very helpful. There's a bunch of other options here, but those are, the, those are the main ones. Those are the primary ones you need to worry about. So once you've set those, just hit trade okay. Now I'll actually run you guys through the use of this because there's quite a few things you can do with this piece of software. Now the first one is checking roll ranges and this is a, a very, very helpful one here. It'll show you the affixes on an item and how far they can roll, like the ranges in which they can roll. So this is, uh, this is a, a, a best estimate based on the knowledge that uh, the script is able to glean from the item. It's not always super accurate. Things like rarity, for example, can be a prefix or a suffix, and it can be difficult for the script to find out. But simply to do this, you're gonna press Control C. So Control C will bring up this, which is your item info script, and you'll see that the rolls are there, the amount that they can roll between. So we know that 68 life is between the bracket of 60 and 69. So it's at the top end of that. And it'll also tell you whether some things are prefixes or suffixes, but just be aware that some things might not be completely accurate and it might not be able to figure some things out, but it's still a great reference. This is also quite handy for checking the roll ranges on unique. Say you find a pair of face breakers and you're like, what are the roll, is this a highly rolled pair of face breakers? I can't actually remember. Then you can press control C there and you'll get the range. So it says 600 to 800 is the range here. So the next useful thing is the in-game price checking tool, and that is by default Control D. So when you click this, when you press these buttons, it'll start running a search of PoE Trade, and then it'll pop you up a box with a list of results. 
So you can see the age of those results, how long ago they were posted, so that we can see that there's one Doriani's Catalyst up for, it's been up for two hours, it's listed at 1.5 exalts, and uh, it's got some other listings there in Chaos and things like that as well. Now, something I want to emphasize here is that this should only be a quick reference and should be your first point of call. It's useful for finding out if something is potentially valuable uh, or if it's something that doesn't have variable stats, then it can be useful for finding out the price. So something I quite like to use this for is for checking currency rates, for example. So I can press Control D on an Exalted Orb here, and I can get a quick reference of what are the current Exalted Orb rates. And it's looking like 65, 66 chaos itch. All right, all right. Now, what you want to be very careful of with this is, though, that this is going to give you the worst possible examples of those items. So, for example, if I control D on this pair of face breakers here, it's going to list up the face breakers that are rolled like 600% increased unarmed physical damage. So, the worst face breakers are worth one chaos. It's giving you the bottom results, right? It's giving you the cheapest results. However, my face breakers are mint rolled and they could be worth two, three, four chaos potentially. So, in that case, if you want to open up PoE Trade quickly, you can press Control Q which will run a search and instead open it up in PoE Trade. Then what you can do is start looking at the actual roles and getting some more information. There's no substitute for actually looking at PoE Trade yourself. As I mentioned, this is only a quick reference, but still a very handy tool. Another pretty helpful option that's nice and fast is to press Control I, and this will allow you to do a search. So let's say I want to look at, mm, what are the prices of Abyssuses these days? Then I can type Abyssus in there and hit enter, and it'll run a search for the in-game pop-up for Abysses. So the cheapest Abysses are up for about 40 cows, 43 cows, so okay. Another pretty handy thing is that item info script can be used for a few different things. So control C once again on a gem like this, let's say I want to know what the quality bonus is. And a quick way of doing that is press control C and I can see 10% increased area damage for 20 quality, 0.5 per one quality, handy. Uh, another thing that you can do is actually jump quickly to the Path of Exile wiki. So let's say you want to find out a little bit more information about increased area of effect. To make it a little faster, you can press Ctrl W, and that'll open up a wiki page for this item. Now, just to further emphasize what this is not useful for, this is not useful for price checking rares. You can't really do anything with rares with this. The reason is, is that it's essentially in a search for the name, so if I press Ctrl D here, it's going to look for rings called Dire Circle Breach Ring, which is not very useful for us, so... There's some dire circles up for one alteration, but that doesn't actually tell us anything. So don't bother price checking rares with this. You can check the roll ranges, as I mentioned with the item info script, that's quite helpful. But uh, when it comes to price checking rares like this, you're going to actually need to go to PoE Trade yourself and type in the pro you know the relevant stats that you're searching for. So again, just to summarize, this is useful mostly for price checking, getting a quick glance on the prices of uniques. Be careful of roll ranges because it will take the worst possible roll ranges in your price check. It's useful for checking currency rates, useful for checking quality gems once you set up those options I showed you guys, and useful for getting extra information on things. So enjoy, hopefully this helps you guys out. If you have any more questions, feel free to ask in the comments below. That is it for now, I'm Ziggy D, and thanks for watching.